Thank you, Madam President. Mr. Slutsky has truly become my inspiration in this session. Yes, absolutely, I agree, Mr. Slutsky, with you, with you when you are saying that this is the moment of truth for the Parliamentary Assembly today here. Yes, this is moment of truth for the Parliamentary Assembly. And Mrs. Beck said uh, absolutely correctly that it is not about Georgia or Ukraine. This is about the Council of Europe today. The vote which is going to happen here is about the words we love so much saying here all the time about our values. Today, in this vote, we will show whether those values are still there or they are just a matter of words that we are using here all the time. For the last three days, I kept hearing words of solidarity. We know, uh, we regret, we understand the feelings of Georgians and Ukrainians. And I'm sorry to say, my colleagues, but this is not about Georgians and Ukrainians. This is about the whole Europe. This is about every single European sitting in this room, in this hemisphere, what we are talking here about. When we are talking about the aggression in the middle of the of the Europe. When we are talking about the bombs falling in the middle of the Europe, this is not about the feelings of Georgians or Ukrainians. This is about all of us. This is about every single European, regardless of how many kilometers away you live from Mariupol, Tsinwali, uh, Sokhumi, or the other cities that have been occupied uh, by the Russian Federation. Um, it is, uh, unfortunately, Unfortunately, we are in this debate today we are we, ha we still are hearing some doubts. We, are, we still are hearing some questions um, about um, possibility for the dialogue. The dialogue door was open for these nine months. Let me underline it over and over again, and it's been said here many times. The dialogue has been offered to Russia every single day, every single morning, every single evening from the April when this resolution was taken, but they decided to go away. They decided not to be part of this dialogue. Today, I'm hearing that we need to have them on board. Yes, we Georgians also want them to be, to be on board. But please don't forget the board, Russian Sea, is cleansed from Georgians. The board they see is cleansed from Ukrainians. This is the alternative they are giving to all of you. Either you agree on that or disagree. Today's vote is going to be answered to that. Whether you want just Russians on board, or you want everybody sitting in this room, including Georgians and Ukrainians, on board where this dialogue should take place. There are very serious, this is very serious, what we are talking about. Yesterday it was Georgia and Ukraine. Yes, maybe it's far away from, from the doorsteps that you all live in. Tomorrow it might be Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania. Next day it might be Poland. And we are not far away from that moment that we have all seen with the Iron Curtain. And let me just reiterate once again, today saying no uh, to those sanctions means that we apologize to Russians, all of us, every single of us who voted in April, we apologize for the mistake we have made in April. And this is where we are, we are today. And I strongly advise you not to do that and not to give them green card for another occupation and for another military advance. Thank you. Thank you.